Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. First things first, thank you guys so much for your support. We're over 400 subscribers, which is just amazing. Again, can't thank you guys enough. You are awesome. Today we're doing a bit of a versus series again. MT09 from Yamaha versus Z900 from Kawasaki. Two bikes that have been hugely popular. Everyone's been asking me to do a bit of a match off with these two bikes. Again, two awesome bikes that I absolutely love. Um, and yeah, we're going to go over the engine, the looks, uh, 0 to 100, things like that. Uh, so yeah, again, this is just my thoughts on each each bike guys um, and yeah let's get into it let's go all right starting with the beautiful mt09 all right so the engine starting with the engine on this beautiful three cylinder engine i think it sounds absolutely fantastic <laughs> Sounds amazing. Alright, and now this bike is packed full of features for this year, 2021. This is this this model is. Um, you know, it's got up and down quick shifters, zero to hundred in about two two point nine seconds, three seconds. Uh super quick bike. Uh I, I quite I'm growing on the front end of this bike. It's got a good um full colour screen. Again, I'm not a huge f fan exactly of it, but it, you know, I'm sure it looks decent in person. Um, it's got Olin's rear shock, which is awesome. It's a good bit, bit of kit, this this bike. It's got fantastic components. Um, you really can't go wrong with this bike. It's just such great value. Um, for, you know, seven, just over 17000 here in Australia. Really, really good bike for the money. Um, I love the brush swing arm. I think that's an awesome feature. Um, like I said, the front end's growing on me, but overall, absolutely fantastic looking bike. All right, Z900. Again, this is such a good value bike, guys, here in Australia. If you're looking for an all-round sort of commuter or you're looking for something that does basically everything really well, it's got a great engine, great four-cylinder engine. You know, these bikes have been around a long time. Um, you know, for $14,000 here in Australia, just, you know, you really can't go wrong. Um, I, I, I think the styling, um, I give it to the MT-09, but again, it's, you know, it's up to, it's up to the individual. It's a very personal preference that, um, obviously they've got the new dash for this model, uh, this year, the 2021, which is awesome. You know, you connect your phone, all the rest of it. Up and down quick shifter. Um, I'm. I wish they would do a little bit more of the paint schemes. I'm not a huge fan of the um the red and black or the green and black, but uh, yeah, not a bad option. Good power on this bike. 92 kilowatts, zero to hundred, three about three and a half seconds. Very quick bike. They're on par. I mean, either or bike. You're not going to notice too much difference in 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 you know terms of power. Um, but I, again, I'm going to have full reviews on each of these bikes coming soon, guys, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, this is a fantastic option if you're coming off your restricted license or you're looking to, you know, maybe upgrade from a smaller capacity bike or you just want a bike that can do everything. Alright, so yeah, my winner here is the MT-09. I think this shows such good value here in Australia. I think it's really hard to beat this bike. Uh, just such a great spec. Looks fantastic. Sounds great. Goes great. And yeah, what a bike, guys. Thanks for watching.